ask you first, Coach, um, what's your take on uh, Cowan's performance at, uh, as an individual at Vanis IC Championships? Certainly probably one of the better ones in the history of this school. Would you agree with that? Cowan's had a, a really good career. Uh, you know, and this year was just uh, the end of, uh, of three solid years. His freshman year was not quite as good as the last three. But uh, uh, you know, he was down a little bit come after the fall. Conference tournament made a huge, uh, huge uh, charge at the end and come up one one stroke short. So uh, uh, I'm proud of him. I, I knew he would because he's just that kind of player. In fact, if I met, if I remember right, I think he took a triple on the 16th hole and buried the 17th and 18th coming in. So that's, that just shows what kind of guy Colin is. He's a he's a true competitor and he's a, he's done a lot for our program. So. Absolutely, Colin. Did, did you enter the last two rounds of that tournament expecting to? to compete as well as you did, or to, to finish as close to winning a title as, as you ended up doing? Well, uh, obviously I wanted to win it, right? That's yeah, yeah. what we're there for. And, uh, you know, I figured if I could make up uh, more than two shots the first day, then I'd only have two or less to make up the second day. And I moved from 10th to second and put myself, you know, right in the hunt and gave him my best shot. And, you know, I didn't win, but it was a heck of an effort and a lot of fun. So. What are you thinking before that final round, as you said, to jump from 10th to second, to suddenly be you know, right in the middle of it uh, with a shot at the championship? You know, how, how do you approach that final day? What are you thinking the night before? Uh, pretty much, uh, well, you don't sleep much, that's for sure. Um, but really, just go out there and stick with the same game plan, because that you know, really led me to have the round I did on the Saturday. So just do the same thing again and focus on making putts. I know that the season's over for you guys now, but um, I'll direct this question to all three of you. Um, I guess, what's your what's your overall take on what, what you accomplished this year and, and how do you translate the success that you had had uh, into next year? Uh, I'm already looking forward for next year, working hard for next year. It, uh, uh, a friend of mine that I got to know, a golf coach, said, you're only as good as your sixth or seventh player. Well, th this year we, uh, we had Cowan finish second in the conference. Carson finished 10th, and Nick Lee will finish 17th. We finished 9th as a team. Uh, that uh, we, we had the makings of, of a pretty good team and just couldn't get that 4th and 5th scores in the book, to be honest with you. And uh, and I'm going to rectify that next year. we got a lot of kids we're dealing with. We've signed several kids already, and uh, you know I want to expand the program into you know, 11, 12 kids where we've, we've had 7 or 8 or 9 in the past. So uh, so I, I'm looking forward to the future, I think. Uh, I think we got a good nucleus coming back with uh, Carson and uh, Nick Liebel from uh, Watford City and Jersey Kelly from town here. Jersey was a true freshman this year and learned the ropes a little bit. And uh, this was Carson's second year. He's he come a long ways, and I'm expecting big things out of him next year. So uh, we've got some good kids coming. I, I'm, I'm very promised for for next year. So. Would you agree with that, Carson? With what you have yeah. coming back, that you guys have the nucleus to improve that ninth place standing and. Maybe crack the top five or even better. Uh, oh, totally. I think that uh, with the incoming talent that we have, I know a few of the players, and uh, with the core group of guys coming back, I think that we could really compete in the overall standings. You would, you would echo that, coach. Absolutely. In fact, uh, top five is not our our goal. We sh we should uh, be in contention. Uh, there's no question in my mind. So. Carson and Cowan's question for both of you. Uh, how much sibling rivalry is there between the two of you? Is there a standoff of golf outside of golf? Uh, well, uh, it's pretty much all the time. Um, I love nothing more than to beat him, but uh, there's also nothing that bothers me more than when he beats me. So uh, it's pretty good, but we're, we're pretty good friends through it all. So it's been a lot of fun. I can pretty much attest to everything there uh, on the course and off the course. No matter what it is, we're always competing against each other, and it's it's all in fun, though, and it's, it's been Coach, awesome. Coach, I don't know if I'll get a straight answer out of them, so I'll ask you, um, what do you think the rivalry is like between the two guys? Who's got the upper hand right now in the, in, uh, in the, in the sibling uh, O'Keefe rivalry? It's actually worse off the golf course than it is on the golf course, to be honest with you. and. Uh, uh, Cowan is a real even-tempered guy, but but Carson knows just what bush, what was to push to, to set him off. So it's, it's quite entertaining, actually. So uh, in fact, uh, it's going to be really different next year not having Cowan around because uh, 
He's uh, he's been the team leader, and uh, you know, in a lot of ways, off and on the golf course. And, and I'm expecting Carson to step into a lot of those roles too. So, Colin, you had a, lot, a very successful career at Miami State, and kind of revived uh, some of the men's program and some of its step forward. What kind of things do you think you hope to leave behind with the upcoming players? What kind of leadership qualities are you hoping? Uh, basically, just you know, lead by example. Uh, you want to be a good guy on and off the course. Um, we've had players in the past who maybe uh, don't handle uh, bad holes too well, and you know, I think as a team moving forward, that's something that's really important uh, to make sure that you know you face adversity and really try and handle it as best as you can. So. I think we got a real good future here. Got a lot of good players coming back next year. We got some great players coming in from Canada, and it's going to be really fun to see how they do. So I'm excited about that. Kellen, how confident are you in Carson's ability to come back and lead this team as the team's uh, second best scorer at the NSIC championships? Um, you know, do, do you have confidence that he can come in and lead, lead this team the way you did this year? I, I absolutely do. Uh, actually, in the summer, he beats me quite a bit. Uh, but when, when, when the chips are down, I like to say I get the best of them. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I really feel he can step into that role and, and really do a good job. So, What's it been like for the three of you guys to be a part of this team this year and to see what the, that potential that's there and to see what this can turn into in, in the future years? Go ahead. I, I think... Uh, We've had a, you know, we, we play hard. We try to win. We do, but uh, got some really really good kids. I mean, our, our GPA is you know, three seven or something, three eight. Uh, Colin was a four point. And I threatened to give him a B in golf just to break that up for him. But uh, uh, so the team chemistry has been fabulous. I mean, we, our, our guys are our best of friends, and uh, uh, it's just and and I notice how friendly they are with the other teams. I mean, Colin, I've I've had four or five guys. Come and say, hey, I get to play with Colin. He's my favorite guy to play with. You know, I mean, so uh, uh, I, I think the, the program's in the, going in the right direction, and and, uh, and we've got a bright future.